and a warm welcome to you from Azadlik Square, heart of Baku and home, of course, to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With high speeds, tight corners and few runoff zones, many are expecting a safety car here today, so our drivers will have to stay very much on their toes and hopefully away from the barriers. With 20 turns and a length of 3.7 miles, Baku City Circuit in the heart of the Azerbaijan capital is a real test of a driver's endurance, patience and precision. 90 degree corners through sector one lead into a tightening uphill sprint as we start to circle around the old city. Then a 1.4 mile chase flat out through sector three towards the finish line. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Why don't we kick off by discussing Max Verstappen? That was a great win in the last race. Can they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Iceman lines up on pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Valtteri Bottas and Perez, Verstappen, Gasly, Kvyat and Lewis Hamilton, Stroll, Albon, Daniel Ricciardo and Russell, Ocon, Magnussen, Antonio Giovinazzi and Nicholas Latifi, Uber, a Williams. It's What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. Uh, today we're at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Uh, this is going to be run right before, I guess, one day before the actual Grand Prix is going to happen. So this is going to be almost like a little prediction series, which we have going on now. Uh, Monaco, we did terrible, but Verstappen did really good uh, in the real world. Verstappen won uh, last episode. I do believe he won ours as well. I haven't looked back at that yet. Uh, so... Today, Lando Norris and myself are both up on pole. Uh, we're doing a one-stop. Softs, mediums, that should be fine. I don't really want to go on hards. Uh, extra four seconds. Uh, car setup is good. Yes. No, so without a further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see if we can get... We can do another prediction for this race. I am hoping that uh, Verstappen in the game comes close to us. Uh, I am expecting him to win uh, on Sunday as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Okay, let's see if we can get a nice clean start here. So how's everybody's awesome Saturday doing? There everybody got a chance to watch uh couple of the beta videos for F1 uh, 2021. What's everybody uh, most excited about there? I think personally I'm, I'm really curious about to see the, the, the damage model. Because it looks like you can damage a whole lot more of your floor body and that's more of a permanent damage for your uh, actual race. So, you, so I'm really curious to see how that's going to affect like us going over these curves. Especially something like the really big curves. Is that just going to damage your body? That's just like their way of saying uh, track limits. Because yeah, I mean like... What if you damage your body in... If you're doing, let's say, full qualifying. Uh, and you damage your body in Q1. I'm assuming that damage is going to stay into Q2 and Q3, but how's that going to affect your whole race? Well, how's that going to affect your, your qualifying? That's the thing. So that's, gets, that's, gets, that's where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm curious to see what they'll implement and how they'll do it. But I'm definitely looking forward to the tire model. Um, I am hoping to, as well, before iPhone 2021 comes out, pick up a uh, CSL DD. But fanatics or fanatics strategy of how they're gonna release it I won't be in wave one I'll be in wave two so we'll see what they can do 
definitely wouldn't mind getting a DD system and upgrade from my current Audrey G29 setup. I have to do a hard break there because I didn't think I was going to make that corner if I turned. I think Norris had better pace than we did anyway, so I was a little let well him through for the moment. You're not that great out of the side of the corners, though. Oh, come on, Lando. Don't just park it on the corner there. That's just dumb. We will have DRS with him though, so this will that'll be pretty good for us. We gotta keep an eye on our eyes on the track and not damage our front lip. Carrying a little bit too much speed in there, I think. Yeah, there's still one of those, like, right, right right, now if I do this, you can see the wheel move a little bit. Uh, if, it just feels like it moves a little bit more in, uh, in the actual wheel, Logitech wheel, so... We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Not today, Leclerc. Oh, I'm too far away from Norris. Well, we'll have to catch him. Those McLarens, then Ferraris, then looks like Mercedes. Battery charge is high. Let's use that overtake button more. Let's hope Norris doesn't park it again on this corner. He's definitely a slow thrower through that section as well. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Have you within DRS range here? So he's a little bit too far away from us. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. Ooh, that could ended up really bad. Nice and close up to Lando. I just want to taste those exhaust fumes. Just taste that race fuel. Must taste sweet. Yeah, I had the inside line, man. I have to. I don't like passing that section, but I think, I was like, you know what, Lam and I have a really good uh, team chemistry, so when one has more pace than the other, we're always trying to let each other through, just looking ahead, get ahead of the pack, and then I do something like this. Mind that front wing, it'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Let's see how this front wing does in this corner. Okay, not too bad. I can still hang up, hang with that. We'll probably need to replace the next time I pit, though.
We're gonna box this lab, push hard on the in-lab. Let me try to keep myself safe from this. Any more wing damage? Engine is showing small signs of wear. Power output will be down. Yeah, using Rich right now just so I can get away from the rest of the pack. So I'm not too sure what the actual weight, what the what, what the pit pit lane timing is on in Azerbaijan. I want to say it's like 21 seconds, roughly. I want to give Lando a bit of a boost here. Uh, he might not be close enough. Yeah, he's not close enough for DRS. Alright, we're pitting. So, pit time. Is it, was it 1921? Is it 21 seconds? I want to say it would be 19 to 21 seconds. I think that's roughly what it is, but I could be wrong. Um, well, that's, that's a bit longer. Go, go now. 17, so I think it's probably around 19 seconds without the front wing replacement. Front wing replacement is about 25. That's Pit what strategy got. complete. See these tires through to the end now. Alright, uh, we have a clear right above in front of us. So we're technically P2. A little bit of oversteer there. Shouldn't have been in first gear there. Well, it's a lot of understeer there. That was weird. Even though I have a front, what's it called? A brand new front wing. Maybe tires are still cold. I need to go within the arrest range. This is going to be so bad if I don't. Lando is coming in for I know it's in the pits. Get a little bit up close and personal, these guys. We die bomb driving out here or no? Got here, Charles. I think I gave him enough room there. I do think Norris undercut us. I mean overcut us, that's what I mean. Yeah, he definitely did. 
That's a really good strategy by Norris. McLaren did really did him really well. Okana's going the whole race. Right, can I dub on them too? Fuel is looking really good. You're managing it well. Nice, Norse's first place. Well done. Gotta really avoid that avoid that curb. And that curb, which is really bad lines today. What is Magnuson doing over here? Like, did he not pit yet? Messing, we got a little bit out of shape there. I overtake. Oh, that would have been close. We gotta use that over that slipstream to catch up to Norris. Driver in front. Lando is ahead of you. Our gap to the car in front is 4.5 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. Their tires are one lap old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 45.7. One minute 45.7. So they had no DRS. Okay. Let's see what a lap is going to be this time. So we didn't really have DRS and this is not going to be the greatest lap for us either. One forty five point seven, okay, come on. We have four laps to catch Lando. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Bad sector. All three or all those our bad sectors. Okay, I'm gonna go into rich mode so we can push the engine a little bit. Uh, so I'm a little bit faster. Just using an overtake as much as I can, really. Messing up corners like that.
Jeez. All right, so we've been looking at the damage, and we think you should be okay to continue. It'll cost us a little bit of time, but we're nearly at the end of the race. We are nearly at the end of the race. Okay, let's not about through that corner, okay. Just like you've been rich for a bit. Alright, 145 last time, right? 143? 144 one, okay. You gotta catch Lima, come on. 2.5 seconds. The turbo charger is on his last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. No man, we're gonna push this turbocharger until it breaks. Oh, understeer. Understeer there too. Jeez. Those low speed corners where that wing, little part of the wing is getting me to me. Okay, well, I might have to just take second place. Don't want Leclerc to get second. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Come on, I can see Lando. 2.3 seconds. I wonder how his tires are doing. No, he's usually slow around the first part of the castle section, so... Oh my god, that could have been real bad. Yeah, no, he's too far away from us for us to catch him. We're also down on power because our engines, so. We do everything this we can. Final lap, final lap of the race. Oh, what? Max Verstappen's happens out of the session? No way. Our ERS is like minimal. There's only one lap of fuel remaining.
1.4 time. If I need to get, a, get within one second. Ah, no, I won't be able to catch him no matter what. Yellow flag. Oh, I went a little bit hot. Ah, uh, it's Lando's time today. So, what's our prediction? I guess we're going to have a McLaren podium. McLaren is going to be on podium, and then Leclerc is going to be on podium as well. Um, none of the Mercedes will be on podium. So that's our prediction. There will be a McLaren and a Ferrari on podium for sure. Super driving. Uh, so I know. So Leclerc will be on podium, maybe signs, but oh man, that was rough. Nichols a TV driver of the day. And so ends another Azerbaijan Grand Prix. A fascinating race and a well-deserved victory. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic ah, you know, I'll take second place. That's for sure. And no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. Will the Austin see Lando win tomorrow? Lando or, Mr. or Verstappen? I guess, you know, Lando and Verstappen are on our side. I'm just going to keep adding the people to the list, but... Uh, Lando, Verstappen, or Sainz. Uh, in this specific order, I say Verstappen, Lando, then Sainz. That's, where, that's how I would like to see the podium set up but let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's oh, standings i was that six tenths the faster than him the table has shrunk somewhat today now let's discuss ants who would you say is a contender for driver of the day it's got to be lando norris hasn't it smooth confident and assured yeah he Got was no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the, the fans moon voted with his performance the TV. let's move on to the constructors oh, yeah. mclaren continue to increase their gap at the top meanwhile ferrari have improved their position a strong weekend from them as they fight their way towards the top. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this you weekend me of both. Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. So we're still in the lead. Uh, we're getting up. The Red Bulls dropped a little bit. Mercedes is there. Ferraris moved up. Wow, so Ferrari surpassed Mercedes. Okay. We are still in the lead. Verstappen definitely dropped back a bit, especially this race. He was out. What? He was one lap behind. He was out. And that's just unfortunate. Uh, Leclerc, Lewis, Lando. Oh, wow, Lewis, Lando, and Danny Ricardo are all tied. That's awesome. All right, looks good. Let's jump into the actual interview session, and then I think we'll be good to go. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Your team dominated the race today. Was it the car or the teamwork? What's the secret to your success? Uh, a car that can take the punishment did beat a shot. Yes, the car was actually pretty good today. Durability was good, even though we had some damage. Everyone's expectations, isn't it? Uh, F1 is so we all put an extreme amount of effort. It is a team. It is a team sport. Things were close between you and your rival, but it looks like you're coming up top, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> the group is not really at my level. I don't know. Rivalries in the sport bring out the best of both the drivers. Uh, not always. I'm gonna say that. Your teammate took the number one spot. Does that make you happy or jealous? Of course, I'm happy for them. Look, like, yeah, of course, I would love to finish first. My team has always been a second, but a win is a win for the team it's a win for mclaren it's a win for us and uh, we didn't crash into each other we can't say the same thing as uh about some of the red bull uh events for sure or mercedes events um not too bad one point lead looking good let's see what we have scheduled for next uh weekend's grand prix do we have any upgrades coming through Okay, please wait. Okay, so we have 
2,000 points. So we'll definitely, okay, we will be doing some upgrades, but uh, we want to have them in place before next Grand Prix weekend. We're not too bad, though. We're kind of just, wow, racing points on top of the lead, but they're not even doing that well at all. Like, racing point, wow, 19 and 7 points. Paris is not doing well. Lance is not doing well. Uh, uh, but either way, yes. Hope you guys liked this video. We haven't been doing too bad in the season. We had a few really terrible, terrible finishes. What is that? One in Vietnam, one in uh, Monaco. Azerbaijan was second. Uh, so not too bad. But if you guys do want to see more of these videos, especially if you guys want to see more of one, let me know. I am thinking of doing uh, streaming uh well, just a stream session of uh, F1 2020 uh, my team modes. So that'll be a little bit different. We'll do longer session there. So a couple, two to three hours, maybe even longer. Depends when I have some time. But if you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe. It definitely helps the channel. It'll get me to create more content. And hopefully you guys are liking uh, the variety of content that I'm, that I'm trying to release out here. So either way, we'll talk to you guys later. Take it easy.